Welcome to Toxmay TTV. I'm your host, Toxmay, and I'm just a little bit of a freak. When I find shinies, it's not uncommon for me to comment on how tasty certain shinies and even certain Pokemon can look. Today, I'm embracing my weird side and shiny hunting the top 10 tastiest shiny Pokemon in the Indigo Disc DLC for Pokemon Violet. And remember, whether you agree with me or find this idea revolting, comment down below letting me know what you think. And as always, if you're ready to go with some shiny hunting of your own, go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all the wacky shiny hunting shenanigans. Now let's get into it. Oh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, that's the shiny. Oh, about time. About damn time. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. It's behind the menu. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Nursery, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Look at that thing. Oh, finally. Oh, and I sent out cream pie up front. Let's freaking go. Yes, fight your kin. Fight your family. Okay, no mark or anything. It gets the quick ball treatment. Let's go. Hey, go in. Hey, go in. Hey, go in. Hey, go in. It went in. Let's go. Oh, finally, I got this little bastard. We've been hunting this thing for an hour. I've been alive for an hour. About time. It's a long phase, I'm gonna guess bashful. Alright, I say bashful, we got calm from fish. She is quiet. Good for her. Oh man. So, the reason I want to eat milsery is because I want to just put it in my coffee. I want to just mix it into my coffee. I, I genuinely think it would be delicious. But okay, we got our first target finally. Let's hope for some better luck in the future. On to the next phase. May is literally our therapist. I mean... Oh, hey, Shiny Execute behind the tree. Hey, yo. I was about to say, I don't know why Dan is saying I'm literally y'all's therapist, but I do have a degree in psychology, so I might be a little more qualified than the average Joe. Yo, let's freaking go look at that thing. Okay, no mark. I said a boink. Hey, yo, Shiny Execute. Let's freaking go. Yeah, true chat. No mark, but a Shiny is a Shiny. Okay, let's quick ball this lady. And obviously, this kind of goes without saying, of course people want to eat Execute. Of course I want to eat Execute. It's just eggs. I want to make a nice omelet out of them. Maybe mix in some of the milsery milk. Could be good. That was most of the sandwich in another pretty long phase. I'm going to guess Bashful again. All right, I say Bashful. We got Bold from Umbra, Sassy from Fish, Adamant from Dan. She is impish. Love that for her. Yeah, like, they just look like organic brown eggs from, like, the farmer's market. Like, they just, they look good. I want to eat them. They look delicious. Maybe instead of making an omelet, I am a fan of hard-boiled eggs with just, like, a pinch of salt and pepper on them. Or maybe deviled eggs. Like, there's so many things you could do with these guys. So many ways you could eat them and enjoy them. But, all right, that is another one down. Let's keep going, chat. Oh, speaking of Alakazam... You'll never guess, well actually, I guess you can guess, but y'all want to know what Jessie found last night on PLA? She found the Alpha Alakazam, like shiny Alpha Alakazam. Shalpha Kazam, if you would. It is so sick. She's checking like maybe a little over half the alphas in the Obsidian Fieldlands, just tr doing resets for Magikarp or Gyarados, whichever shines first. And she phased on <laughs> the Alakazam. Oh, that's a shiny Slowpoke! Hey, yo, look at that guy. Yeah, this video will be up before that, but don't worry. I did get her reaction in a clip that I was working on for a PLA video. And I had her take a screen cap of it. So you guys will see the Alpha Alakazam eventually. True chat, banana. Banana. Okay, so this one should go without saying. Slowpoke Tail is literally edible, and I'm pretty sure the deck entry, either in Sword and Shield or maybe even this game, specifically says that the Galarian Slowpoke Tails are spicy. I want spicy Slowpoke Tail soup. I want, like, a sweet and spicy soup. I want to eat this guy so bad. I want to eat it so bad. Yeah, it uses its tail to fish, but the scent of the spice emanating from its tail ensures its catches are always lacking. Yeah, see, the spice emanating from its tail. I want spicy slowpoke tail soup. You know, I'm feeling docile for this guy. I don't know why, I just am. 
We got Lax from Dan, Relax from Fish, Quirky from Umbra. He is careful. What a guy. Yeah, me and chat are talking about even more Pokemon that we want to eat. But, okay, cool. We got another one. That was actually pretty fast. That's pretty good. Well, let's keep going. Oh, that's the shiny Bulbasaur that I accidentally despawned. God damn it. I thought we weren't going to have any fails today. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I fly over here, and boom, he spawned right there. You see that guy? You see that guy? Man. Here, look. You can see me see him and try and turn around. Man. That sucks. Okay. That was a really fast shiny. We've been recording for two minutes after the slow poke, so there's probably going to be a long phase after this. Yippee, I'm going to keep going. I didn't realize Shiny Riolu was in the Safari Zone in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, the blocks. See, I need to play more of my Heart Gold game and get to that point where I can do that and set it up because I'm running out of time to set up my blocks. After we turned 50 days. Okay, so I won't be going after that this year. Yeah, but it's different than Safari Week. Like, going after a target and egg hatching is way different than Safari Week hunting. Oh! Shiny Bulbasaur! Hey, yo, while we're talking about Safari Week, let's freaking go. Hey, yo, Shiny Bulbasaur. Hey, yo, he has a mark and he's large. Hey, yo. See, chat, failing the Bulbasaur before is made up for it now by having a mark. The last one probably didn't have a mark. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna assume. All right, we're gonna quick ball this until we know if it's a cool mark or not. It's not gonna go in the quick ball. Okay, I'm gonna cut here and I'll see if other people in the same catches. Okay, it was the very next ball. We're good, we're good. It's gonna be my head cannon that this is the same Bulbasaur we failed. It's even up here on this ledge again. So I'm gonna say Impish because it played a dirty little trick on us. All right, sorry, I say Impish, we got Bashful from Umbra, Calm from Fish, Bold from Ruby, Impish from Dan. He is quirky. And the mark we're checking in three, two, one. He's an Eeper. He's Eepy. Bulbasaur the Sleepy. Yeah, so Bulbasaur, I don't want to eat the frog part itself. I don't want to eat the animal itself. I want to eat the bulb on its back. I love broccoli and Brussels sprouts when they're like steamed up and everything with some garlic butter. Absolutely amazing. So I want to eat the bulb on the back of Bulbasaur. So fucking bad. <laughs> oh, I want to eat it. Delicious. But okay, that's another one down. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, there it is. That's the shiny Froakie. Oh, I almost despawned that guy. Oh, hey -o. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, frog time, frog time. Oh man, I'm gonna have to try so hard to not despawn this. There we go. Let's freaking go. True chat, the frog is real. The frog is here. Frog time, frog moment. Certified froakie moment, hey go in the ball. Let's freaking go. And yes, I want to eat froakie, specifically, Frog legs. I've never tried them before and I hear they're tasty, so I want to eat Froakie. The Froakie showed up while the ads were running, so I'm going to nature guess Modest because he didn't want to be seen by the audience. Alright, so I say Modest, we got Calm from Fish. He is careful. Amazing. I was being very careful to not miss it. But yeah, Froakie legs sound delicious. But alright, we are making good progress. Let's keep going. What is it, baby? Do we need puppy time? Do we need puppy time? Hey, chat, who wants puppy time right now? Bogo baby. Bogo baby. Do you like the butt scratchies? Do you like the butt scratchies? Okay, turn around. Turn around. Let me come love you. Hi, baby girl. Are you getting some good scratches? You getting some good scratches? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get that mad. Let's get that neck in between the shoulder blades. Oh yeah. We get right here. Oh yeah, baby. You like the scratchies. You like the scratchies. 
I love you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Who's a good girl? You a good girl? You want to get some chest scratches from Mama? Oh, she kicking her leg. She kicking her leg. She getting good chest scratches. What a good girl. What a good baby. Okay, baby. I think Mama's got to get back to work. Okay, a little more butt scratchies. Just a little more butt scratchies. Okay, chat. So here's the thing. I was recording during that entire thing, and the recording is still fairly short. If we find a shiny in the next, like, 10 minutes or so, like, 5 to 10 minutes, I'll include that footage in the video. Sound like a deal, universe? I'll include the dog footage if I find a shiny soon. Is that the shiny? Wait, wait, wait. Am I stupid? Oh, that's the shiny! Oh, I totally didn't realize that for a second. Hey, guys, we get to use the dog footage. Hey, yo. She's marked. She's marked. Hello? Hey, yo. Okay, so I know I saved before her. So if it's a cool mark, we'll get it in a cool ball. But for now, we're going to quick ball. Let's go. You know, I get to use that dog footage now, and she has a mark. I'm gonna guess Jolly, because I'm Jolly. We got Bashful from Umbra, Sassy from Fish. She is adamant, and the mark we're checking in three, two, one. It's an uncommon mark. Whatever. That's... God damn it. <laughs> Could have been a cool mark. Could have been. But yeah, so the Blitzel line. Blitzel slash Zeb Striker. Yeah, I want to eat them. I'm into, like, foreign meats and eating weird shit sometimes. Like, anytime I go out to eat somewhere new, just anytime I try, like, a new food place, I try and get the weirdest thing on the menu that I can. I always like trying new stuff. So, I mean, zebra? Eh, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it. Sure, why not? But all right, y'all. That's another one down. We're gonna keep going. Oh, there's the shiny tie rogue. Hey, yo. Look at that blue guy. Look at that blue guy. He's marked. He's marked. He's marked. He's marked. Mark. Hey, yo. Is this guy also oh so little? That guy looks tiny next to the other ones. Hold up. Y'all, I swear, if this is a tiny mark, I'm going to lose my mind. Or like, if this is teensy and it has another mark, I'm going to lose my mind. So until we know for sure... Whether or not it's a cool ball, we're gonna quick ball, it goes in, fantastic. I know what you're thinking. May, why do you want to eat this child? And it's not the child I want to eat. It's the evolution I want to eat. <laughs> Hitmonlee looks like a chicken nugget. And shiny Hitmonlee, I guess it's less appetizing because it looks like a moldy chicken nugget. But the if you think about the regular version, the non-shiny version, Hitmonlee looks like a chicken nugget. I want to eat him, so I shiny hunted it. I'm gonna guess Adamant on this, just because it'd be really cool. We got Hasty from Umbra, Calm from Fish. He is gentle, and the mark we're checking in three, two, one. Whoa! That's a personality mark. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so this one is going to be a Hitmonlee regardless. I have to evolve this into a Hitmonlee for the video, but let's go get that in a cool ball. I know I saved beforehand. And actually, really quick, I just want to get it size appraised really quick, too. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Watch it be the teensy mark, too. If this is the teensy mark, I'm actually going to lose my mind. Okay, let's see how small this Tyrogue is. A good sight smaller than average. Wow, okay. I thought that was going to be at least double XS. But okay, here. I know I saved before that guy. Let's go get him in a cool ball. Oh, this is so hype. This is so cool. I would just like to point out that while I was doing my first Indigo Disc 24-hour video, I also got a personality mark shiny Tyrogue. But at least it's one that, like, there's multiple evolutions for it. 
Okay, he should pop up right in front of me. There he is. Okay. Gonna get Jeb at the front of the party. See those sparkles again. Let's freaking go. The first one, I actually never evolved the first one because I couldn't decide what to evolve it into, and I'm glad I didn't. Because now, now I just need to get one more personality to Mark Tyrogan. I can have all three of the Hitmons with Marks. All right, and what ball should this go into, y'all? I got five friend balls and 13 safari balls. I'm thinking safari ball for the green moldy nugget man. Chad agrees with the safari ball. Okay, bet, bet. And first ball. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's go. And then let's just check out that mark one more time. Gentle nature with the angry mark. I find that so ironic. That's so funny. Let's check out the stats really quick. All right, attack is higher than defense, it seems. I think that's Hitmonlee. So yeah, let's evolve this thing. All right, here we go. Let's see a shiny Hitmonlee, shall we? I'm pretty sure I did the stats correctly. Yeah! Oh, wow. In the sunlight, that is so bright green. That is so bright green. Now, again, I just want to reiterate, shiny Hitmonlee, kind of gross. He fell under the fridge and no one ever cleaned him up, so he got all moldy. But regular Hitmonlee looks like a chicken nugget and or drumstick. So if you think about just regular Hitmonlee and not exclusively the shiny, yes, I want to eat him. Why do I do this to myself, chat? I don't even know why I'm saying it, chat. It's just Umbra right now. Umbra... Why do I do this to myself? Why do I decide to hunt Minior so often? This is not including the Charm Odds Minior that I randomly got during my 24-hour DLC video. This is my third time hunting Minior. Because let's see, I did it for the Alola quest, the hardest DLC hunt video I'm working on, and um... Fuck, what else did I hunt it for? It was right on the tip of my tongue. Have I only hunted it twice before? Yeah, now I gotta... <laughs> I'm forgetting how many times I've hunted this thing, and I feel like it's more than I'm remembering. Oh, right, my f my favorite Shinies video, my mini STQ. Yeah, so that was the third time I hunted Minior for that, because it was my flying choice. So yeah, this is my fourth time hunting Minior, not including the random Charm Odd one that I got before. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! We got it, Umbra! We got it! I'm saving. We got a shiny Minior on the second sandwich. Let's freaking go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Is it you? And we're gonna find out who it is. I'm gonna find out which one of you cheeky fucks is it. Oh, is it you? It's you! Hey, please have a mark. Aw, oh, no mark. That's the one, right? Yep, shiny Minior, let's freaking go. Well, I was really hoping for a marked Minior, but that's just gonna have to be for another day. Um, hey, Quick Ball. Hey, Quick Ball, hey, Quick Ball, hey, Quick Ball. Uh, did not take to the Quick Ball, okay. Now, we don't need the rest of the sandwich after this. I don't, I don't need a damp Pokemon. If it explodes, we'll just reset. Which it just might do. Oh, come on, just go in the ball, go in the ball, go in the ball. Oh, not even a single shake, are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut here, and I'll see y'all when this thing catches. Probably next ball, now that I'm saying this. Okay, here's hoping for the quick ball again. Oh, okay, it went in on the quick ball after we reset it, because it exploded. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. What core are you? Blue core. Okay, I've had that before. That's the most common one over here where I like to hunt these. But hell yeah, Shiny Minior. Let's freaking go. Don't ask me why, I'm just feeling lax for this one. Alright, I say lax. Umbra says impish. It is bashful. Oh, that's my normal nature guess. Or at least the one that I've, like, claimed. And yes, I want to eat Shiny Minior. You know the meme of the cat crunching on the ice? Like, ah, gah, 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 gah. That's me with Shiny Minior. I want to crunch on this Minior. It looks so delicious. But alrighty, that is our hardest hunt of the video down. Here's hoping that the next phases are easier. Let's move on. Oh, there's the Porygon! Oh, wow, that stands out so much. Okay. Wow. 
Look at that. Hey, get over here, bud. Get over here. No marks, that's okay. Boink. Yes, I realize these are getting weirder and weirder and weirder, but I want to eat shiny Porygon specifically. Like, specifically the shiny version. Look at that thing. It looks delicious. Like, it looks like a chewy starburst kind of candy. Like, some kind of fruity candy. It looks amazing. Absolutely delicious looking. And a fairly long phase consider we did most of this sandwich and we're seeing quite a few of them so i'm gonna guess bashful it is oh my god it's bashful let's go oh let's freaking go oh hell yeah and yeah i didn't know this any of the other times i've shiny hunted porygon on this channel but you can isolate porygon or at least mostly isolate it it's the only normal type that spawns in the top layer of the charged stone cavern you just get other electric types spawning there as well, but yeah, you can get a lot of Porygon there, so I might be doing a personality mark hunt for this in the future. But okay, we got one shiny left. I bet you're never going to guess what it is. Let's get into it. Oh, wait a minute. Ayo, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Okay, I know this has gotten me, like, multiple times, but, like, this has to be the shiny, right? Yes, let's go, guys! We found it! <laughs> Yo! Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Phase over. We finally found it doing this goddamn picnic resetting. I hate picnic resetting. I hate the Solosis line. Hey, Reuniclus, fuck off. Get away from me. I don't want you. Give me, give me the second stage. Give me that one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I was like, what the fuck? That is it, right? I'm not stupid. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. Here, I worked hard for this one. We're gonna get a front-facing shot. Boink. Let's go. And now, I know what you're thinking, viewer. Um, you want to eat the Solosis line? What the fuck is wrong with you? And I have exactly one thing to say. I like Jello. That's it. I just like Jello. Very long phase. I'm guessing Bashful. We got Bashful from Dan, Calm from Silver, Timid from Ryan. It is relaxed. Fantastic. Amazing. You know what? I hate to say it, but I think the second stage is actually the best ratio of goo versus not goo. So you get the most jello out of it. You get the most bang for your buck if you're like, buying it by the pound. Yeah. God, am I a terrible person, chat? Be real, am I terrible? Am I awful? I feel like a bad person. Alright, well there you have it. Ten shiny Pokemon. Ten Pokemon that I would love to eat in the Indigo Disc. Let's look at them. We got Milstree, Execute, Slowpoke, pretty normal picks, pretty normal for cooking, and then we get to Bulbasaur and Froakie, and it's like, mm, this is a little questionable. Blitzel is just weird, and then I think I lost my chat's faith. I think they all started realizing I was crazy when we got to when we got to the Hitmonlee, and I need to stop hunting Minior. I've hunted way too many Minior. I need to stop. I need to stop. But yeah, these are. Very tasty shinies. These are very tasty Pokemon. So hey, whether you think I'm right, whether you think I'm wrong, comment down below, drop a like on the video, and if you want to see me do this sort of thing, but with the entire Pokemon Scarlet Violet game of getting all the tastiest shinies, please subscribe to the channel, comment, let me know, drop a like, all that jazz. You know what to do. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.